Welcome, Sachi Anand, Utekar of Trade Bulls, for a quick technical check on the market. Sachi, if one was to look at the market, uh, you know, on a Friday sure. to now basis, they wouldn't think that this is a week where we saw such wild swings. But uh, be that as it may, after this recovery, what are your uh, projections on where the market goes from here? Uh, good morning, uh, Nigel. Good morning, uh, Mangala. Uh, clearly, I think the recovery has been very steady. In fact, uh, Nifty has again re-established that particular base at 22,200. And since then, you know, uh, there has been a very steady, uh, you know, up move. And, the, and even the sector rotation has been very confident. So right now, I think uh, from a momentum perspective, uh, we may see this particular, uh, you know, uh, rally getting stretched right up to 23,200, 23,100 and probably... Uh, we may see an extended move post that. But as of now, uh, the volatility has already cooled off. Uh, we are all uh, back to you know normal business uh, uh, business trends. So I think uh, eventually we may see uh, you know, Nifty scaling towards uh, fresh life highs. But as of now, uh, so far as uh, 22,680 is uh, held on, probably we may see uh, the continuation of this particular move. Uh, we are anticipating that uh, uh, today's expiry could be somewhere close to around uh, 22,000. Uh, 940, 23,000 itself. So I think uh, this bullish momentum may stay. Okay. All right. What about individual stocks then? You're saying that the bullish momentum can stay. 23,200 could be uh, the near term pit stop that you're looking at. What about individual stocks? Uh, Nigel, uh, there are two stock ideas uh, on our radar. First of all, uh, we have recommended these to our clients as well. Now, we have already seen a very strong pullback rally in uh, all the PSU names. Uh, 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 BPCL is one particular counter wherein the reward to risk is still favorable. It is forming a uh, fresh uh, floor at uh, around uh, 600 zone, and we are expecting that uh, there could be a push uh, towards 640 uh, in a day or so. Uh, that's why we're recommending building long positions in BPCL, uh, keeping a stop loss somewhere close to around 590. And we may see a swing towards uh, 640 from a trading perspective as well. The other stock which has hit our radar, wherein uh, the recovery has been uh, kind of a V-shape, is Bajaj Finance. Now, the stock was in a low top, low bottom uh, structure. Uh, uh, you know, despite uh, the market volatility, this particular stock did show a lot of resilience uh, near the 6800 mark. Uh, since then, uh, you know, we have seen a V-shaped breakout. Uh, the breakout uh, of the pattern uh, is indicating a target somewhere close to around 70 to 30. And that's why we are recommending building fresh long positions here. Keep a stop loss somewhere close to around 6910. Right. Uh, Sachi, before we let you go, would you um, think that the FMCG spark that we saw in the last couple of trading sessions, is there a, a reason for, you know, the stocks to move back higher or, you know, the rally that was done is done and dusted? I think this particular uh, move may sustain. In fact, if you look at the uh, Nifty FMCG index itself, you know, the, uh, the index was consolidating and forming a base somewhere close to around 54,000 levels. And since then, uh, you know, uh, we have seen a, a very strong breakout. So I think... Uh, uh, there, there are signs that uh, this particular trend, uh, at least on the index, uh, uh, you know, should sustain. And we may see uh, the index itself moving uh, close to around uh, 63,000 mark. So I think there's a good substantial upside which is left. Uh, we have already seen a uh, very good participation from accounts like H, uh, HUL and ITC so far. But I think uh, uh, this particular trend momentum may, uh, may continue from here on as, as well. Uh, when we look at a uh, specific uh, stock uh, and the performance, you know, uh, H, uh, HUL is uh, displaying a kind of a broadening formation uh, with its uh, base being established somewhere close to around 2300. And the upper end of this particular broadening formation is placed somewhere close to around 2930. So there's a good amount of headroom which is still available. And uh, every decline uh, uh, should be a good opportunity to accumulate these counters uh, in one's portfolio. All right, Sachi, thanks a lot for that. Dips in FMCG uh, do offer buying opportunities, but he did give out his views on uh, the index as well as a lot of individual stocks. Uh, let's talk about a lot of these individual stocks now. IEX is